Good happy Sunday morning, November 15, 2020. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this Sunday morning edition of The Morning Show with Riley King. It's time to rise and shine and get this Sunday off to a good start. So sit back, relax. And grab a cup of coffee and enjoy this Sunday morning edition of The Morning Show with Riley King. We got lots of stuff we're going to talk about today on The Morning Show with Riley King. So, let's get started. First up, we're going to take a look at your COVID-19 dashboard from John Hopkins University in Medicine. Let's take a look at that right now. And here is a look at that dashboard right now from John Hopkins University in Medicine of COVID-19 information. Global cases, 54,027,785. U.S. cases, 10,907,597. Global deaths, 1,312,918. U.S. deaths, 200,4. 614. That is a look at your COVID-19 dashboard from John Hopkins University in Medicine. Now, let's get to your news. Thousands rallied behind Trump, insisting he won race he lost. Supporters of President Donald Trump gathered in Washington, D.C. yesterday. For everyone, supporters of President Donald Trump rallied in Washington, D.C. on Saturday behind his superior claim of a stolen election and swarmed his motorcade in adulation when he detoured for a drive-by on his way out of town. Hours later, after night fell, in the nation's capital, demonstrators favoring Trump clashed in the street with counter-protesters. Video posted on social media showing fistfights, projectiles, and clubs. Police arrested at least 20 people on a variety of charges, including assault and weapons possession, officials said. One stabbing was reported to officers were injured and several firearms were also recovered by police. Judge DHS head didn't have authority to suspend DACA. A federal judge in New York has ruled that acting Department of Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf assumed his posi position unlawfully. A federal judge in New York City Saturday that acting judge, acting Department of Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf assumed his position unlawfully, a demonstration that invalidated Wolf's suspension of the deferred acting for childhood arrival programs, which sealed young people from deportation. Baltimore to pay about eight million in police corruption settlement. Baltimore officers are set to approve a roughly eight million settlement to two men who went to prison after drugs were planted on them during an encounter with members of a rogue police unit that brutalized, robbed, and falsely arrested residents. After Trump, foreign allies wonder if they can trust America, says a former official. I'm sure not everything will go back to what it was, said Sweden's former foreign minister, Margaret Wallström. America's 
partners around the world are mostly relieved that the end of Donald Trump's erotic presidency is near, but they harbor lingering doubt about Washington's reliability and are weary of the country's polarized politics. Even under a new leadership, foreign, foreign, and U.S. diplomats say And we're going to switch gears and talk about the weather now. Hurricane Iota to intensify into a major hurricane before making landfall in Central America. Iota became the 13th hurricane of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. Hurricane Iota has winds of 80 miles per hour and is a Category 1 hurricane this morning. Iota is moving west at 6 miles per hour and is about 415 miles east-southeast of the Nigeria in Honduras border. And here's a look at the map and forecast track of it. Take a look where it is. It's near Mexico in Honduras and Guatemala right now. And right now it's getting locally rain 30 inches plus. Here is where it will be later. Take a look. It'll be around here later, the storm center. And now let's take a look at the weather today across the country. And here's a look at the weather across the country right now. Boston, 47 degrees, cloudy and sun. New York, 54 degrees with sun. Washington, D.C., 62 degrees with sun. Jacksonville, Florida, 78 degrees with clouds and sun. Tampa Bay, Florida, 85 degrees with clouds and sun. In Miami, Florida, 83 degrees with clouds and sun. In Los Angeles, 71 degrees with sun. And in San Francisco, 64, 60 degrees with sun. Sorry about that, everyone. The 2020 Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, a symbol of hope, arrives in New York. It arrived in New York City yesterday. This year's Norway spruce has finished its two-day journey to the Rockefeller Plaza. Take a look. A symbol of the holidays. Very cool indeed. Finally made it into the big city. And, um, we can tell you that the tree will be lit on Friday, December 2nd. And they'll do a tree lighting one that day. A special tree lighting show that day. Cool, cool, cool. Visiting, visiting hours to visit the tree in person will run from 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. The tree will be lit for 24 hours on Christmas Day from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. on New Year's Day Eve. So if you want to visit the tree, you can do that. Cool, cool, cool. And highlighting small business finds from Oprah's favorite things left. Let's 
take a look at that from Good Morning America. Deals and steals. Let's take a look. Out of part one of our two-part deals and steals, have you got holiday gift-giving on the brain? Of course you do. Look no further than these classic Oprah favorites right here, all from small businesses. And Tori Johnson is joining us with the super savings that you need to know about. All right, Tori, talk to us first about staying organized here. These things make that a breeze. Yes, from Brooke, we've got two sort of functional, fabulous favorites. They got Oprah's seal of approval. The first one is a cord roll, and it's the easiest way to keep all of your tech cords organized. And then there's, and they come in all kinds of colors. It's great from teens to adults, men and women. Everyone's going to love that one. And then the second product is a duo organizer, and it's really ingenious in how it was designed with a zipper along the base that allows you to put uh, jewelry or cosmetics, sort of a lot of things. And there's even more online from this company, go check it all out because it's at least 50% off and the prices start at $10. 50% off, we love that. All right, this next one brings the heat, Tori. Tell us about it. Bring the heat. Truff. So this is so good, this hot sauce, that it made the O-list two years in a row. Oprah has said that even when someone has everything, they don't have truff. This is the gift to give because she loves hot sauce and truffles. This combines both. This trio set has three different bottles, original, potter, and their white truff. And it's just a, it's a, it's a taste that people have to actually taste to kind of believe it, experience it, describe it. Every hot lover will, hot sauce lover will love this one. It's a lot of hots in there. Uh, slash in half, $35 for the gift set. All right. I can smell it too. You can smell the heat. I put hot sauce on everything. Yeah. So into that. Okay. What's next here? Corksicle. So this is a brand that none of us knew about until the Oprah team really put them on the map in the drinkware category. Now they're a leader, a household name. They're known for their sleek designs, vibrant colors. Uh, all of their tumblers and canteens are great because they keep your beverages hot or cold longer. They also have a huge assortment of their insulated products like tote bags and lunch bags. Just a great assortment for a lot of people on your list, all 50% off starting at $10. Excellent. All right, this next one, perfect for self-care. Tori, what do you got for us? Mini Lux. So Mini Lux is a Boston-based brand that the Oprah team loved. They became a favorite thing because of their perfect nail polish, beautiful seasonal colors, and now they have lots of really, really good body and nail care treatments. There's a rollerball cuticle oil that's on my list to give to lots of ladies. So um, check out all of their products. Really good buys. Again, 50% off. 10 to 20 dollars. Love it. The and exfoliating wait, We're gonna have to scrub. wait till the next segment. Yeah, we have to wait till the next segment to see your um, your fancy demos. That's right. Yes, we've got we've got more. We're not done, Tori. Thank you so much. We will talk soon. Of course, we partner with all of these companies on these deals, and you can get them on our website, GoodMorningAmerica.com. Walk us through. We're gonna get hands on with this one, right? Oh, that's good. That's a good one. So, yes, this company is called Parasilk. It is a woman-founded, made-in-America product, which we love. It's a hot paraffin treatment, either specifically designed for hands or for feet. You pop that little plastic pouch right into the microwave for about two minutes. You can even boil it on the stovetop and then relax for 10 minutes. And it is heaven, heaven, heaven. It's so restorative for your skin, but also for muscle relief. It's actually FDA clear to help with um, lots of different conditions such as arthritis. It's a good uh, post-workout uh, uh, experience as well. So these are just great products. I like to say there's multi-generational use for these. Everyone can use 10 minutes of love. Today they're 50% off. They're 10 to $15. Great. I realize I skipped the key step of putting it in the microwave and Dan got nervous when I put on the glove. All right. Walk us through uh -oh. the, uh, the bags that we Yikes. have here. So uh, I'm going to need you to do a little modeling here. This oh, company is my tag-alongs. And 
The creative director of O Magazine is Adam Glassman, and he finds most of the products that appear on the pages, and he looks for things that check a few boxes. Clever, functional, stylish. And that's what my tag longs has. These are a bunch of neoprene products that have a velour finish on the exterior. They've got fanny packs, little um, phone sling bags, vitamin cases, so many different options. You could check a lot of people off your list, and these are really accessibly priced. They range today from five to thirty dollars. Huge assortment, lots of colors online. Great, we love it, Tori. We love it. Thank you so much. Uh, and I think I kind of made a mess with the glove, but great products, all helping out small businesses. Thank you, as always. Of course, we've partnered with all these companies on all of these deals. You can get them on our website, GoodMorningAmerica.com. Well, hey there, Jeep. Okay, and there you go on that video. Very cool. Good deals there. And we're going to switch gears now. Let's go into entertainment news. Man arrested in New York City attack on actor Rick Morris. The suspect was apprehended in the subway system a few blocks away from where the attack occurred last month, police said. And we can tell you, um... The 35-year-old man was arrested yesterday, and um, the actor, Rick Morris, is from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the father from that movie. So he got arrested, the suspect that attacked him. And tonight on E! News, on the E! Channel, is... People's Choice Awards. Let's take a look at the preview. Nice try, 2020. But you couldn't stop all this. Go, go. The E! People's Choice Awards celebrates what kept us dazzled, shaking, crazy hooks, and sane. I don't... Oh, snap. It's been an extraordinary year. Get ready for an epic night. This is amazing. November 15th, we're honoring Jennifer Lopez, Tracy Ellis Ross, and Tyler Perry. The E! People's Choice Awards, November 15th. And the host of E!'s People's Choice Awards is... The wonderful Miss Demi Lovato. She is the host of E's People's Choice Awards and it airs tonight on E. And now let's take a look at those celebrity birthdays and see which celebrities are celebrating a birthday today. And happy birthday to all of these celebrities. We hope they have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful day. And that does it for this edition of The Morning Show with Riley King. Thank you for joining us for this Sunday edition of The Morning Show with Riley King. Have a wonderful Sunday, everyone, and see you back here tomorrow for another edition of The Morning Show with Riley King. Goodbye, everyone.